everyone, it's Alice here and I'm with Tanya Petrova from Real Estates Market and she's going to tell us a little bit about herself and how she got her picture on this sign. Hi everyone, this is Tanya. I'm so happy to be here today. Uh, we're in the state of Florida in beautiful city of Weston. Uh, so I'm the real estate broker of uh, Real Estates Market and this picture as a matter of fact has been photoshooted last year i was the top rated uh, real estate agent in uh, pembroke pines and western nice. so so now uh, we are here uh, so uh, what can i tell you i've been in real estate uh, probably for close to 20 years my mom wow, is a civil engineer so i grew up in construction and uh, from different uh, careers i transitioned to real estate and uh, my business is a, a real estate technology savvy brokerage. Uh, so uh, I can ask uh, uh, technology savvy technology brokerage. savvy brokerage. That's so what we just do. that to me sounds amazing because a technology savvy brokerage is not something I've heard before. And certainly with this uh, talk and, and activity about cryptocurrency and, and how it intersects with the real with the real estate market, Tanya's going to tell us about the process of buying a home with uh, Bitcoin. So we're gonna walk and talk as she explains it. Absolutely, so um, when, when it comes to buying a property in Bitcoin or any cryptocurrencies, we need to have first agreement on a price. Uh, you need to choose a property, you need to negotiate the terms and conditions. Uh, after that, you need to have an executed contract. And to you. Uh, <laughs> I'll show you actually one home here. Uh, we have uh, quite few properties which are available for sale in cryptocurrency uh, and once we have an executed contract then we are ready to move forward with the transaction at this moment uh, you can have your um, uh, escrow uh, deposit which could be anywhere from three to five percent of the uh, of the price awesome. and uh, the process starts usually when it's in a Bitcoin or a cryptocurrency, whatever currency has been negotiated, uh, it will have to uh, be a cash deal. So it is a cash deal. Mm -hmm. uh, so from that moment on, the process starts, uh, treated as a cash deal when the party agree on the closing date. Uh, so a title work needs to be uh, pulled out and the funding can happen. So it's very straightforward. Uh, as a cash deal. So why do you think people think it's it complicated and something they don't understand the process? Well, number one, uh, so the escrow uh, which needs to be held, uh, need, the title company needs to open an escrow account in crypto. Okay. Mm, okay. So, uh, and after that the funding needs to happen. So obviously uh, people think it uh, might be challenging because not too many title companies might accept that challenge uh, to right. have the, uh, uh, the actual exchange of, of the funds. In crypto. In crypto. Uh, but basically the process is very straightforward as long as the buyer and seller have agreed, uh, then the closing date, uh, the, the funds uh, exchange, and they still have to meet the front of notary to sign the warranty deed uh, and the funding happens uh, right after that. And so let's walk inside. So one thing that I understand is that not all properties uh, are available in, in, in cryptocurrencies. And, and what cryptocurrencies are we talking about? Is it mainly Bitcoin or Ethereum and other altcoins? Well, uh, since uh, as far as altcoin, uh, that would be a little bit difficult to, to agree, but Bitcoin and Ethereum has been more stable. Okay. So uh, usually the the owner is the one who needs to be uh, agreed on. Oh, okay. uh, and once the owner agrees, meaning the seller agrees that uh, on the price and on the actual currency, in reality you can sell your property you know, in any currency as long as the two parties agree. We have a buyer, we have a seller. Right. You know, if you agree to sell it uh, for five dollars or for fifty bags of tomatoes or potatoes, whatever that yeah. is, you know, as long as there is an agreement, we have a buyer, we have a seller. So the buyer wants a certain uh, transition. Usually, where people always uh, uh, are concerned about is that they have to exchange in fiat. Oh, 
Okay. Mm. Uh, so you know, if uh, for example, to, to, this to get the fiat, and then transfer that to Bitcoin, exactly. and then exactly. go through escrow. Exactly. And how how are they going to report that on taxes for tax purposes? Right? Okay. So so basically, once the the exchange happens, because the taxes on the property needs to be recorded. Mm -hmm. So you need any time any time you buy a property, you need to exchange uh, the currency. Uh, so yeah. so say for example. Uh, you know, this property we're asking at the moment $750,000. Uh, when they agree on what's going to be the conversion at the time of the market, that pr that's the price on the contract. Okay. Mm. So once the uh, uh, once uh, the taxes are calculated, because two weeks from now or a week from now, when the exchange of the money is going to happen. You know that conversion needs to be on the market rate because that's the time when they're actually paying and yeah, the taxes so, needs to be recorded so what's recorded is the minute you sign that paper and then when the taxes are paid two weeks after that it's reflected from the from the actual signing price so you're paying the taxes on the signing uh, amount right the amount that you sign correct because so we still you know the the taxes to the uh, to the local government will we still need to be paid in fiat Right. Okay, so you buy so, the house in Bitcoin and then you pay the taxes in fiat. Correct. Because can we pay the taxes in uh, No, you cannot. Bitcoin. You know, I wish we can. Once once, uh, once they tell us we can, we probably could do that. But, you know, property taxes will be paid on a annual basis still yeah. in fiat. Right? right, right. So you're still paying US dollars or uh, if that's the case. So uh, in terms of process, it's not quite uh, uh, different than what you do uh, when it comes to, but say for example, if you bought uh, a year ago your Bitcoin, mm -hmm. and at that point was, uh, you know, say you bought it for $300, yeah, okay? Yeah. And now the Bitcoin is what, around 6,000? 6, 6, it's almost 7,000. It's 7,000 at the moment. Okay, so you can see where the difference is. You mm -hmm. know, uh, so you buy, uh, the property for a lot less bitcoins what you have bought a year ago so this is probably the best investment you can do right now right. now uh, is it uh, people shy away or don't understand the process because bitcoin and cryptocurrency is quite volatile right? Right, right so people are concerned oh okay so if I say for example I do 10,000 bitcoins or you know 100,000 bitcoins uh, for a property okay and at that moment if the value goes up you know, I kind of like feel lost money. And the seller might feel if, you know, uh, if the value goes down from what happens uh, from 19,000 to 4,000, yeah. you know, a couple of weeks ago. So now people might feel, you know, I'm... So there's uh, like that fear, uncertainty. That fear of uncertainty. Yeah. Who is gonna take, who is going to take the, the hit, basically. The heat. So, <laughs> so the hit or the risk. And uh, so let me ask you this, who are the types of people uh, that are buying properties in, in cryptocurrencies that you have seen in, in your... Well, I your have not done a transaction in, in uh, crypto as yet. We have had only one transaction in Miami uh, in December. Oh yeah, I think uh, I read that in the and Miami that's Times. That's pretty much it. So uh, all it. buyers, uh, if you're interested to buy in crypto, please reach out to Contact me. Contact Tanya. Uh, realestatesmarket.com uh, or you can call me at 305-801-2843 and I'll be happy to look for a property. If I don't have it in my inventory, I'll find a seller who will be willing to uh, schedule serious. the transaction. Okay. Thanks. So really appreciate your time. Uh, looking forward to move more people to South Florida. Yay. Bye everyone.